Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, August 19th, and I'm officially starting my 25th birthday vlog. I can't believe I'm turning 25. Like every year, I still feel like I'm like 22 or 23 because I think that's when like the pandemic started and I feel like everybody says like they just feel like that's their age because just time has just been crazy the past two years. Yeah. Oh, Christian's pulling up right next to me. He just got done work and he's meeting me right now because we're going to Sephora, going to go on a little Sephora. Um, shopping spree I want to get some new makeup and skincare so we'll see what I come out with and then we're gonna like walk around the Grove um, they have some cute shops here that I'm gonna check out and then also see if I can get like a cute outfit for tomorrow we're going to Cape May tomorrow um, and gonna go check out a winery so gotta get a cute outfit of course <laughs> Um, but I want to show you guys everything I got so I can start taking it out of the package and using it um, But I wanted to get a new face wash. So I saw this one on the app. It's by Cora Organics I've never tried anything from this skincare line, but it's by um, It's created by Miranda Kerr. Um, she was a Victoria's Secret model I saw really good reviews on it, it said it's supposed to like nourish your skin without like stripping it and also helps to brighten your skin tone and make it even so we'll see if it does that i'm impressed with how big this bottle is it's literally five ounces you guys there's a lot of product in here and i think it's gonna last me a really long time like look how look how big that is so really excited to try this i'll let you guys know how it is but it comes in like a glass container which is nice it just looks so fancy um so that's the first thing that i picked up and then the next thing that i wanted to get was the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation you guys know the drill with this stuff like people just love this foundation it's a bougie foundation so right now this is like my summer shade um i just could not get the lighter shades because they just didn't look good with my skin right now like my face is so much lighter than my body and they seem with same with my neck i'm gonna have to like drag it down but like look at my arms compared to my actual face i never tan my face so i'm just gonna have to keep self tanning um so i can keep using this the next thing i needed to restock my born this way concealer this stuff is so good um i wanted to maybe try out the dior uh i forget what it's called it's the dior concealer i think the backstage concealer but for the price i was like i might as well get this get this one because it's so much they give you so much and it lasts so long and i just know it's so good so decided to stay true to my roots and then Shania, my one of my best friends, has been telling me I should get this primer. It's the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I usually don't use primers. I haven't in so long. But she loves this stuff, so I'm going to try it out with the Luminous Silk. And then the last two things. I picked up my birthday gift. It is the Laura Mercier birthday gift set. So it comes with a translucent setting powder which this is the setting powder that i use i'm traveling in october with christian so i was like i might as well get this one because it comes with the little one and i can just travel with this versus like the huge one and then it also came with like this little caviar stick eye color so it's like in a bronzy shade which is really pretty um and then the last thing that i got was this facial massager i'm so freaking excited for this so for the longest time i wanted to get the 
what is it called? Oh, the Skinny Confidential one. Like either the ice roller or she just came out with, I'm pretty sure she calls them like her blue balls um, facial massager. So I got this one because I didn't feel like waiting for the Skinny Confidential one to like ship and it was affordable and good reviews on Sephora. So I did try this out already because I sent a haul video to Shania. Check out this facial massager. It's heavy, like, oh, and the balls feel cold. Oh my God, wait, I actually like this a lot. These balls feel so good. <laughs> and if you put it in the freezer, they would feel so good in the morning. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm so excited. Yes, and like, just using it right now, it feels cooling. So I can't imagine how it's gonna feel when like I take it out of the freaking freezer or fridge. If this doesn't even do anything, I don't even care. It just feels so good. <laughs> so that is the birthday haul from Sephora. I feel like I do a Sephora birthday haul like every single year. I mean, I don't know if I did it last year, but I definitely did it the first year that we lived here. So I think we should just keep making this a tradition and always do a Sephora haul on my birthday or birthday weekend, whatever. And yeah, that is everything I got. All right, you guys, it is now Saturday. I just got my nails done, went to a new place. I've been trying out different nail salons because I don't know, I just really haven't found like one that I actually like a lot. So this one was in Spring Lake, New Jersey called Glare nail spa and i think i'll go back to them but i wish i said something about the shape of my nails so like he didn't really ask me what i wanted and i probably should have said like i want almond but he was kind of just following like the shape that they already were which was almond but now they're kind of just like round i feel like i don't know maybe not maybe i'm over exaggerating but I'm about to go into a boutique so I can try to find an outfit for the winery. Got a rosé. Cheers. I think someone's about to get engaged. I'm like waiting. I don't even know these people, but I'm gonna video it. Oh my god, he just Cooper Boos. All right, you guys, so we were, we were sitting in these rocking chairs and I saw this couple go down like the vine, the vineyard, and I had a feeling because there was a photographer here with like fancy ass cameras taking pictures around, walking around, and then the couple was like. Were, were you like thinking like, oh, is it me? Is it like, gonna do? No, yeah. I mean I've never seen that photographer in my life. It doesn't have to be someone you see in your life. I mean we have photographer friends, so I feel like you would probably reach out to them first. So anyway, um, they were walking down the vineyard, and the photographer was like peeking at them and then he walk, walked up to them and asked if they could take he could take their picture and they were like yeah sure and I was like oh my god I think it's happening I was like getting butterflies for the girl so he showed them the picture and then he was like okay let's take a couple more and then the guy got down on one knee and so I got it on camera <sighs> cutie I literally just cut this out. I literally stood up and I just felt like three beads of sweat go down my butthole. I'm keeping that in. <laughs> Babe, you look so cute. It's hot. So we made it to Congress Hall. It's like a hotel in Cape May. And we're gonna go get a little cocktail. Look how cute it is. It's like too. that's what I said. I was saying this like reminds me of Charleston. It's so cute, like the yellow and black and the little striped awnings. Open air side by side we 
this way there in all the colors guys i can literally lay here all day i'm about to like fall asleep it's so nice we're also talking about we could so see ourselves getting married <laughs> maybe in like 2024 who knows but it's so cute Love it. We're figuring out what we're gonna get for dinner and then go on like the beach. So look, we have a view of the water. It's like around there and then there's like another one over there. But it's so nice and peaceful, relaxing. There's like music been playing. My shoes are like falling off, but there's been music playing in the background. It's just so peaceful. This place that we're at, Congress Hall, um, I was looking into to potentially have our future wedding at but they don't have any dates like in 2023 that really would work like the earliest is april and that's just too soon not even engaged yet um so that would be way too soon to plan but i think it would be so cute it does remind me of charleston and like i've always loved to get the idea of like a charleston wedding we went there for our 10 year anniversary but <laughs> I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight. just wanted to like recap everything we did so we didn't get to like spend too much time in cape may which sucks because cape may is literally a gem we love it there and we're definitely going to go back in like september probably to do all the things again and then walk around town go to like some other restaurants or whatever to try out we left congress hall and we went to sunset beach to watch the sunset it was beautiful there's lots of people around there and then we ended up going to exit zero for dinner um christian has sent me like instagram pictures of it like in the past and so we finally just like went there to try it out it's like a gas old gas station turned restaurant so it was like all outdoor seating and everything um you could see it sit inside there was like a bar inside too and a bunch more seating probably in there um but we sat outside and oh my gosh if you go you have to get the cauliflower bites yeah there was live music it was really fun but if you go there you need to get the cauliflower bites in the spicy thai sticky thai uh sauce it was so good like i literally could have just ate that and been fine but then we ended up getting like actual entrees i got like bang bang chicken and shrimp i don't know it was like definitely like a weird mix of food because you could literally get milkshakes and you can also get pad thai and like curry chicken or like butter chicken yeah it was like american but like with like an india influence yeah so weird it was weird stuff but it was really good stuff yeah. so i would recommend that if you guys are going to cape may um but now we are back in asbury like i said i saw um this boutique i was looking at their instagram page in red bank new jersey and they're participating in a sidewalk sale and there's like a bunch of other stores in red bank that are also participating so we're gonna check that out just walk around there and then hit up a meadery which i've never been to before called beach bean meadery in long branch new jersey so i'm gonna check that out and that'll be our little sunday these are so cute. I love like the rattan. It smells so good. Yeah. I don't get it. Not a good taste. Yeah. These are so cute. 
I like this one. And it's like this material, so you don't have to care if it gets wet. Birthday candle, 25th birthday candle. Quarter life crisis. Smells like a panic and no disco. <laughs> That's pretty sad. <laughs> We're in this like antique shop, and anytime I go antiquing, I just think of Julia and Hunter Havens. So cute. All this stuff. What is that? It's Gumby. We stopped at nothing, baby Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us They couldn't change us They couldn't catch us if they tried Now we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall We felt so alive And girl, we were thriving On kisses and sunshine and mischief Yeah, we had one of those things We got back from the meadery. It was so good. So there's ciders there, and then there's also mead, which is just honey wine. I'm pretty sure he said that's what it was. And the alcohol percentage of the meads are high. So Christian and I got flights, and then he got a full pour. But by the time I was done my ciders, and then the mead, I felt like drunk. So I came home, and I was exhausted, and I took a fat nap got up and i started editing the video you guys are watching i have literally had the best birthday weekend so far um, my actual birthday is tomorrow so we do have dinner reservations tomorrow but the whole day it's gonna be rainy i'm pretty sure so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet but i am gonna have myself a day but yeah i have so enjoyed this whole weekend that we've done um as i've gotten older i just realized I love to go travel for my birthday, walk around cute towns, go in and out of shops, go to yummy food spots, breweries, wineries, all that kind of stuff. I'm not a huge like, I need to have a birthday party kind of person. As of right now, I'm like, let's just travel every single year for each other's birthdays um, because that's just something we enjoy so much. So who knows what we'll do next year. But before I go on and ramble about nonsense, I'm gonna end the vlog here gonna get ready for bed and i am gonna vlog all day tomorrow i've been obsessed with vlogging for like the longest time i didn't know what to film what to show what to say but recently i've just been picking up my camera whipping it out and i don't know i've been like in a groove and i'm obsessed with it i'm loving it so i hope you guys are too and make sure you guys are subscribed if you haven't already there's so much fun content coming up so stay tuned for all of that and that is it i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye